friends, Merry Christmas. Our first scripture reading for Christmas Day is from the Old Testament, Isaiah 52, verses 7 through 10. How beautiful upon the mountains are the feet of the messenger who announces peace, who brings good news, who announces salvation, who says to Zion, your God reigns. Listen, your sentinels lift up their voices. Together they sing for joy. For in plain sight, they see the return of the Lord to Zion. Break forth together into singing, you ruins of Jerusalem, for the Lord has comforted his people. He has redeemed Jerusalem. The Lord has bared his holy arm before the eyes of all of the nations, and all the ends of the earth shall see the salvation of our God. And our New Testament reading is John 1, verses 1 through 14. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things came into being through him, and without him, not one thing came into being. What has come into being in him was life, and the life was the light of all people. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not overcome it. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. He came as a witness to testify to the light so that all might believe through him. He himself was not the light, but he came to testify to the light. The true light, which enlightens everyone, was coming into the world. He was in the world, and the world came into being through him, yet the world did not know him. He came to what was his own, and his own people did not accept him. But to all who received him, who believed in his name, he gave power to become children of God. Children who were born, not of blood, or of the will of the flesh, or of the will of man, but of God. And the word became flesh, and lived among us, and we have seen his glory. The glory is of a father's only son, full of grace and full of truth. This is the word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. Amen. In the beginning was Jesus. His beginning was not in the manger, for he was with God and was God all along. At the same time, Jesus was and is the Word. Everything came into being through him, including life and light. In John 8, 58, we read, Jesus said to them, Truly, truly, I say to you, before Abraham was born, I am. For God so loved the world that he sent his only begotten son, the word and the light to become flesh and dwell among us. Our God who reigns is a God of redemption, who became flesh to show salvation to the world. Jesus came to shine in a world darkened by sin and darkness could not overcome his light. His cousin John the Baptist was sent as a witness to testify to the light so that the people who believed in him would know that this was the Son of God. Jesus was the true light, the light of the world who came to enlighten everyone. The world had come into being through him, yet the world didn't know him at all. Jesus' own people didn't accept him, but to those who did believe in him, including us, he gave the power to become sons and daughters of God. 
who were born of God. And the word became flesh and lived among us. On the night of his birth, we sang Charles Wesley's beautiful hymn about the fulfillment of God's plan for our salvation. Veiled in flesh, the Godhead see, hail the incarnate deity, pleased with us in flesh to dwell. Jesus, our Emmanuel. The doctrine of incarnation is central to our faith. John 1 leaves no doubt that God became man and lived for a time in the flesh. Very man and very God. When we recite the Nicene Creed, we say in stanza 2, we believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, of one being with the Father, through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, and became truly human. One of my favorite Christmas Eve traditions is to watch the Midnight Mass from St. Peter's Basilica in Rome. The style of worship is very different from ours. It is very moving. To me, the scripture about the incarnation, the word becoming flesh, is celebrated by the placement of a huge, open, ornately illustrated Bible near a beautiful replica of the Christ child. The word. Martin Luther, in a Christmas Eve sermon, referred to the Incarnation as part of a divine exchange. According to Luther, that's what happens in the Incarnation. God is joined to us fully and completely in the flesh of the birth of the Christ child and thereby takes on our life, our hopes and dreams, faults and sins, ups and downs and gives us Christ's own righteousness. The sins are ours, but Christ takes them on as if they were his. And while the righteousness is Christ's, we now can make full use of it, which means that when God looks at us, God only sees us as fully righteous and pure like Christ. One of the things that makes Christmas so special is the celebration of God's intent and action to be joined to us fully, to take on our lot and our life completely, to give us all grace and goodness, and to promise always to see us and treat us as if we are Christ. Or as St. Athanasius said a millennium before Luther, Christ became like us so that we might become like Christ. And God, the Almighty, is with even us. When the Word became flesh and dwelt on earth, some men and women recognized the glory of the Lord when they looked at and listened to Jesus, full of grace and truth. And they shared the good news of the salvation to all who would hear it. God wants us to do the same. If you haven't started doing that, there's no better morning than Christmas to start. The prophet Isaiah pronounced, How beautiful upon the mountains are the feet of the messenger who announces peace, who brings good news, who announces salvation, who says to Zion, your God reigns. How beautiful are your feet in that sense. God calls us to tell the news on the mountain 
and on the bluff and in the valley and on the lake shore and on social media and wherever else we may find ourselves placed or led to serve. After all, the word became flesh when Christ was born and he dwelt among us and dwells with us still. What better news is that to share? Hallelujah and Amen.